What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Really quick before we get started, I want to apologize for the lack of uploads over these last couple weeks. I have been out of commission with the spicy flu. It finally got me and it actually hit me pretty hard. So you can probably tell I'm still kind of sick, but I am getting better and we will be going back to a regular upload schedule here very soon. But anyways, yes, I am very excited for today's video because we have a really good one for you guys. So over the last nine or 10 months, one of the most popular items on this channel has been this bad boy, the Henry Lever Action 4570, or the T-Rex rifle, as we call it. It is beautiful, very powerful, and just absolutely destroys everything you hit with it. And for those of you that don't know, the T-Rex name is kind of a shout out to Jurassic Park. He carried a Marlin 4570 in that movie, and then Marlin actually put on their website that the 4570 is capable of hunting T-Rex. So that's where the name came from. However, one problem with fighting dinosaurs is they can obviously be very aggressive. And I got to thinking, if I'm ever out there saving the world with my 4570, one T-Rex at a time, Time, there's a pretty good chance something could happen to my rifle and I might need a backup. So today, I wanna introduce you to my new little friend, the T-Rex pistol. Yes, this is a 4570 revolver. And right off the bat, this is the biggest, most ridiculous handgun I've ever owned in my life. So it shoots the exact same caliber as the T-Rex rifle, but just in a much smaller package. And I have a feeling this one's gonna be painful and I cannot wait to try it. All right guys, here we go. I have not zeroed this thing or nothing. I haven't even shot it yet. So these are gonna be my very first shots right here on camera. And we are gonna start with weaker ammo and then work our way up to the more powerful stuff. Cause I have a feeling some of these are probably gonna kick pretty dang hard. So first up we have the 405 grain Remington Core Locked. This is a low pressure 4570 and the softest shooting 4570 that I have. So seemed like the best one to start with, let's do it. And it is single action only, so you have to cock the hammer in between every shot, which I usually do with these big revolvers anyway. Let's see if we can hit the target. <laughs> That's a lot more recoil than I was expecting out of that round. These other ones are gonna suck. <laughs> And by the way, the cylinder does not come out on this revolver. So the way it works is you open that little door and then you can use your ejector rod to eject the shells one at a time. So let's try something a little more powerful. All right, next up, we're gonna try the 300 grain Federal Fusion. This is a lighter weight bullet than the first one that we shot, but it's much, much hotter and has a lot more recoil. So should be fun. I'm kind of nervous. Wow. <laughs> Big difference. But hey, I got a bullseye right in the middle of the target. So we'll chalk that up to luck because I definitely flinched. And next up, we have the 325 grain Hornady FTX. One of my all time favorite 4570s. Number one, because it looks cool and also because it's very powerful. So wish me luck. We'll probably see a pretty big jump in recoil on this one. And I know I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> God. <laughs> Definitely a big difference, and I also saw a much bigger fireball coming out the end of the barrel on that one, so hopefully you guys saw it as well. All right, guys, we've worked our way up to the most powerful 4570 that I have and the one I'm really nervous to shoot, the 460 grain plus P hard cast Grizzly. This thing is an absolute handful out of the rifle, so I can't even imagine what it's gonna feel like in this revolver, but let's just go for it. This might have more recoil than the 500 Magnum. I don't know. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> well, that literally felt like it blew the COVID right out of my sinuses. You're probably not gonna see me shoot that one very often, if ever, out of this revolver. That was about as much as I could hang on to. Whew. Well, I wanna to try to put that recoil into perspective for you guys. I've obviously shot a lot of powerful handguns, most notably the 500 Magnum we've shot, you know, a hundred times on the channel. And I did not think any 4570 
would compare to the most powerful 500 Magnum, but that was pretty dang close. Maybe not quite as painful on the wrist, but I felt like it honestly had more muzzle flip and it almost left my hand and whacked me right in the face. <laughs> that was incredible. Well, after watching the footage back, one thing I've noticed is the Hornady FTX does not look nearly as powerful on camera as it feels in the hand, which is something I've noticed before when shooting these really powerful revolvers. So we're gonna shoot this one again, but this time we're gonna try it one-handed because that is the real wrist breaker test so let's see if we can hit the target one-handed this gun is so heavy it's almost hard to hold on to God <laughs> that fireball This is literally the definition of a hand cannon. I've never seen anything like it. All right guys, now what I wanna do is compare the brand new T-Rex pistol to the T-Rex rifle and see if we notice a difference using the exact same ammo. Obviously the much longer barrel of the rifle should give the bullet more velocity and better bullet performance. And for this, we're gonna use the most scientific ballistic testing medium on planet Earth, watermelons. And the bullet we're using for this one is the 325 grain Hornady FTX, since I know this is a really good watermelon destroyer. So, rifle first. Let's see what it does. Woo! <laughs> wow, it is going to be pretty tough to beat that. <laughs> Well, the rifle was even more dramatic than I was expecting, so let's go ahead and try the pistol and once again using the exact same bullet. My biggest challenge with the pistol is I still don't think it's zeroed, so I'm not really sure exactly where to hold, but we'll just go for it. actually pretty comparable. I think I hit that watermelon kind of high. Um, so if that would have been a direct hit, it probably would have been dang near identical, but the rifle was just a little bit more dramatic. Well, now that we've made a mess, let's go ahead and clean our table off with some two liters. That is ridiculous. My ear pro's falling out. Too much recoil. <laughs> Last one. God. Well, this thing is freaking punishing and the recoil is so violent, it started to shake my ear pro loose. So those last two or three shots, I basically shot without earplugs in. So I can't hear anything right now. Huh? All right, guys, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first video on the Magnum Research 4570 BFR, or the T-Rex pistol, as we're going to call it. So you guys know how much I love the 4570 T-Rex rifle, and I got to say, I might love the T-Rex pistol even more. There's just something so unique about containing a blast like that in a handgun. It's one of my favorite feelings on planet Earth and I absolutely love this thing. So of course we will be doing more videos with it. I already have a million ideas and I'd be glad to hear from you guys down in the comments on what else you would like to see with the new T-Rex pistol because I already can't wait to get this thing back out. So hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.